What is up, man? We are here. We got Adam Calhoun's racism. Mmm. Racism. Now, this is not something that is like new, new. I actually did the last verse of this in a live stream just this week because there was big talk of Jay-Z having this immaculate verse. So I went on live stream, got the G fam together and was like, you guys recommend me a verse from a song and I will listen to that verse and we will talk about that verse. That may be better than Jay-Z's What's Free verse. So this was in a recommendation, came from one of my very own personal love them to death brothers out there so i told him i would actually do this song and do the rest of it but this would be more of a breakdown all right since i already know what's coming in the third verse but i did not hear the beginning of it and i have witnesses to that thank you very much for some of y'all be like you've already watched it it's impossible for it to be a reaction didn't happen that way got witnesses bitch Ha! So, let's see what Adam Calhoun's got to say about racism. Is he spot on? Is he, is some of it true? Some of it misguided information? Because, I mean, racism all goes in those ways. Stereotypes, misguided information, but also self-experience, things like that. Also shape the ideas and thought process that is involved with racism. So, shall we? I always used to wonder, like, for particular people, right, when it comes to this. I've been around both, okay? I worked a, a trade that is not dominated by black people. It was dominated by white people. I have experienced both of these people, okay? The cool, cra the, 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 the cool thing is... They have misguided information just like black people have misguided information, right? They also have morals just like black people have morals. When you start seeing both sides of, the, of, of something, me coming out of the hood, you begin to see there really is no difference, right? There are some differences, but I mean, as far as us being people, people wanting to survive and have something. There's really no difference. I always wondered about the hillbilly bunch, right? Not not the white trash bunch, but the hillbilly bunch. The hillbilly bunch really stays out and away from stuff, right? And I never understood how the hillbilly had a thought process or teaching of racism towards other races when they're not even around other races. You get what I'm saying? Like, how can that be a thing unless you are only letting the TV or your source of information that you intake shape that opinion? I kind of always wondered that. Anyway, let's continue. 
second verse i didn't know the song was actually this short um i posed this question to my live stream i got a bunch of different answers so i'll pose it to the community in general i understand what brings the stigma of hate and racism from the black side i know what that is i know why it's there i got a question for white people what does it on your side? Remember I said earlier about the whole hillbilly ordeal? Well, think about it in terms of also like white suburbia. Most of these people live, they work where they live, they shop around where they live. They're no, they don't really have much contact with minorities. What brings the idea of hate and racism of a minority when you're not even around them. No firsthand experience. This is what I'm asking. I know a lot of y'all are going to say like TV, government, things like that. But what I'm saying is in today's age that we have where there is a big movement of understanding that the government be lying. Right? Bigger than it's ever been. It used to be small groups of people who were considered like conspiracy theorists. Now you can go into a workplace, talk about particular things, and there is a doubt of truth on the information that's being received from people. I mean, black, white, it doesn't really matter. They doubt it. So for me and me actually asking questions like asking these questions to people i work with people i know things like that why haven't we just figured it out to say they lying why are people still holding on like man they they can't they can't be just a lie like maybe they're lying about some of it you know what i'm saying like how can we just don't because, I mean, I've talked to a lot of people, a lot of white people, too. And when it comes down to the police, when it comes down to the government, when it comes down to the armies, when it comes down to all that type of stuff, there's a, there is a, like, a, just a big, big, massive understanding that the government does not tell the truth, right? So why are we still hating each other, though? Why are we still hating each other? That's, that's the question that I'm posing, right? Why are we still hating each other? As you see how he broke down white trash, hillbilly, hillbillies, and niggas, right? And then he even brought in black folk, which is people who work, live, trying to just, you know, make it through day to day, stuff like that. He gave you a perspective of all. You got you got violence, drugs, abuse, all that stuff is going to be in the in 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 the trailer trailer parks and in the hoods. That's going to be there, right? The usage, 
the abuse, and then the teaching, like the, the, that being seen by seeds that are growing underneath that umbrella of that environment. He, can we not see that why, how he laid this out? There's not much difference. There's not much difference. So I'm just posing that question. This is a short, sweet, to the point song. That's how I like. That's how I like truths. Not someone trying to mix it all up and and and, and dilute it all down with some with some with some lyricism BS. No, just you know, just DMX it straight to the point. Uh, shouts out to Adam Calhoun. Like I said, get down in the comment section. I want to know. What's your thought process? For real. What's the thought process here? There was truth in this. On all parties. All parties, there was truth. We cannot deny that. All parties, there was truth. Just, I just want my question answered. Hillbill hillbillies, you don't live around black folk. Why you hate them? Right? Let's be honest. You live around your families. Your family's been lived there for probably a while. So forth and so on. Why you have, why do you... Why do you dislike minorities? I just want to know. Like, I, I I can't hate people from afar. You get what I'm saying? You got to do shady stuff. You got to be, like, <laughs> involved in my life for me. Be like, I don't like that guy. You know what I'm saying? You got to lack morals, stuff like that. And the morals that you lack have to affect me in some way for me to be like, I don't like you. I can't hate you from, like, across town. Nigga, I'm not going to see you. I'm just asking a question. You guys, please answer away. I just want to know. That's it. That's all I want to do. That's all I want to know. Anyway, you guys, thank you for coming by. Uh, of course, you know, I am Nixon. Please get down in the comment section. All links will be down below. Thank you, Adam, for uh, putting this bit of truth out. And putting this bit of truth out without you trying to direct hatred towards yourself for likes, views, comments. You're just doing this to speak your mind. You're not trying to feed off of hate to boost your popularity like some other people do on this internet. Anyway, some of y'all know who I'm talking about. Anyways, that's going to do it for your boy. Y'all be safe, be good, love each other. We're all under human race and the race will be gone if this dumb shit continues peace out